Clear to land, runway 17. The pilots attempt their first landing just after 9 a.m. They try to line up with runway 17 and descend to about 100 feet from the ground. But all they can see is the fog. Damn it, I can't see the runway. You? Negative. I do not have the runway. Pilots are not supposed to land unless they can clearly see the runway. Go around. Roger. Go around. Ten minutes later, the crew decides to try a different tactic. Any possibility of proceeding to runway 35? Maybe on the other side, the sun won't be shining on us. They ask if they can circle around to a runway on the other side of the airport. They hope they'll be able to see more clearly with the sun at their back. It doesn't seem much better. This time, they descend to just 91 feet from the ground, lower than a 10-story building. But they still can't see the runway. Go around. really come up very, very steep up out of the fog. And that was the only time that I would say all the passengers really got excited because we all went, whoa, because of the steepness that he pulled it up out. Controllers don't know what went wrong on the third landing attempt. Visibility at touchdown zone is 500 meters. Only that the pilots opted to try runway 17 again instead of diverting to a different airport. OK, in that case, any chance to perform one approach then? You're clear to land runway 17. After making a second go around, there's significant stresses and internal pressures that exist, because there's now two attempts that were unsuccessful. So oftentimes, pilots will feel internal pressure to make it happen. 